Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Yearbook News. I'm here here with Sarah, of course, um, and today we're going to switch things up a little bit. Of, um, rather than kind of focus on yearbooks within a school context, we want to see what that looks like within like a church, religious institution, congregation context, because as we know, Sarah, yearbooks can be useful and valuable wherever they are printed. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to kind of go over for any church members out there who are listening and are thinking, oh, you know, it, it would actually be really nice to, you know, print out a yearbook for for my congregation. We want to kind of give you some advice and some tips and and some feedback of, of why that's useful and, and kind of how you can incorporate that into your congregation. So yeah, um, my first question for you, Sarah, is um, can you kind of tell me a little bit about why it would be important for a congregation to create a yearbook? Um, you know, whether it be a smaller congregation or a bigger one, you know, what's, what's something that would be useful for them to create uh, a yearbook? Um, I would say for a church yearbook or another name, you know, that they call it like a church directory, it's kind of similar to a uh, yearbook uh, for school. It is really uh, to bring uh, people together, to bring the members together. It's a publication that really showcase what that congregation uh, is all about. It talks about the leadership, the, you know, this, if it's a Catholic church, um, that will be a message, you know, by the priest or um, a pastor, you know, as a Christian church. Um, I think it is um, just a publication to showcase what the congregation is, is about and also for the members uh, to create that culture, to create that sense of uh, belonging uh, for the members, between the member and the leadership, and also, you know, among the members um, uh, themselves. Yeah, that's a really good point. And because, you know, congregations are so community oriented, it's a way to kind of capture those memories. So, you know, whether it's like, uh, maybe it was like a youth camp or something, you get to kind of have a place where a bunch of those pictures are showcased, um, or it could be um, like a missions trip or something like that. And so it's really special that you're able to kind of highlight what that year has brought for your congregation. Um, and like you said, Sarah, to kind of highlight those specific community members or um, whatever it may be, I think that's really unique um, because maybe like a lot of the times we're talking about schools, for example, and you're thinking clubs and sports and activities and all of these different things. And that's the same for a church, you know? And so you get to kind of showcase and highlight, you know, how far you've come within the past year and, and what's coming next, you know? So yeah, I think that that's, that's awesome. And I think that it'd be wonderful for, you know, as many congregations to kind of come to do this because I don't think too many are doing it this. I know some are, but I don't think as many are, as are doing it as they should be, you know? Um, yeah, exactly. But, yeah. I will call that a community, community, uh, project, community publication, but in the context of a church. Yeah. That's a good way of putting it. Um, so I know that in the past we have done um, a yearbook with a, with few congregations, um, and I wanted to know kind of what that process looks like. You know, so if I was a member of a church and I was really interested in kind of compiling this yearbook, what would that process look like for me? Um, it's actually pretty easy, you know, but uh, usually a church um, yearbook church directory, um, they don't really have a yearbook committee because some most of the churches they do a directory maybe every a few years every five years 10 years or even 20 years um you know which is different from school they do it every year so they don't really have a committee of yearbook staff that have possessed the skill in putting a public publication together usually they are the priest the pastor who delegate uh, members of the church or even just the business manager who do not have design skill uh, to put together the publication. I would say uh, the first step is to have an outline, you know, talk to the church leadership um, to find out, you know, to list out all the things that they want to be included. And once you have the uh, outline, then you know how many pages that need to be included. And then from there that you also count how many members and how many, um, uh, key uh, leaders from the church that that 
need to have a publication you know, for them. Or well, also there are some other churches that have been supporting this congregation for many years. You know, each it will be a good idea to make sure that other churches, uh, organizations that have been supporting the church, you know, we will have a copy. So from there, once you have an online, you decide how many um, uh, decide how many uh, copies, and then they can um, get the estimate, you know, from a yearbook publisher or a printing company, you know, based on the page count and based on um, the number of copies, which is the quantity, and and then get some idea, you know, about uh, the price. And then um, they all can also find out from the yearbook publisher or printing company whether they have any uh, software that can help them to put together the um, the publication, you know, online, um, you know. But there are other third parties uh, software, for example, Canva. They can also use uh, to put together the um, the pages for the publication. I would say the first step, you know, is to have the the online and then find out how many copies they're going to need and then find a publisher, a publisher or just a printing company that can assist them in the process. And then um, delegate, you know, have a committee uh, who can assist with creating this uh, publication. Um, probably there will be a business manager, there's a, a designer, there may be an ad manager who will be selling ad to family, to business, you know, who um, will uh, fund, help fund, you know, the printing costs uh, for the yearbook publication uh, for the church. Um, once you have the the um, delegate, you know, a, a, a team of people, individual who will be putting the publication, then you are going to create a timeline. And also, you know, based on the day that you want to have the publication distributed at the church or at the congregation, you backtrack, you know, how many uh, days that you're going to need to uh, start the process. Um, there's a process to create an outline, as I said earlier, and it's a process of putting the design together. There's a process of um, advertising the app to see how many families or other uh, businesses who are interested in purchase, purchasing a space in a publication so that they can um, it, it include, you know, the pictures of the family um, or even the business of the members who want to use the space to help fund the printing costs of their church uh, directory um, uh, publication. So I think the process is very simple, very similar to designing any um, um, like publication, but unlike Yearbook, uh, because it is something that there's no a set of uh, Yearbook staff to help who do who have experience to put together a publication? You know, the leader at the church will probably need to ask for a volunteer who are willing, you know, to really uh, stick to the work that's involved in in producing the the publication from start to finish. Yeah, and that's a really good point. Um because, you know, this is kind of the chance where you can reach out to those creative people. Um, you know, maybe they're creative and maybe they're really good at drawing and you think, oh, maybe they'll be good um, as part of like the yearbook team or someone else is actually really good at kind of like organizing things. And so maybe they can kind of help as well in the yearbook planning process. And so, yeah, just finding those key people and also finding, I think, people that want to create this publication because you know there's a difference between people who are capable of doing it but then also those people that kind of have like that drive and desire to you know bring those those memories to life in a yearbook so i think that that's a really good point um and then you also mentioned the ad pages and that's also just like a wonderful way to put your congregation out there you know so whether you're doing it within like the church, you know, like you were mentioning and with businesses, you also mentioned that, but, you know, going out to businesses, communicating with new people, doing that, like, you know, having those conversations is really kind of putting yourself out there and putting your congregation out there. And so it's kind of like, you, not only are you, you know, receiving something and, you know, being able to, to publish a wonderful yearbook and having those ad pages, but you're also kind of, um, 
introducing yourself and hopefully bringing in new members to the congregation. So there's just multiple ways um, that this can kind of benefit you and kind of kind of put yourself out there. Maybe even if you had like a few extra yearbooks at the end of the day, you know, to to leave one at, you know, the local coffee shop that had an ad purchased in, in the yearbook and or something like that. So I think that's really special and and just like such a unique way to really to really get the word about the congregation out there. Exactly. You know, I think during the planning stage, the church leader can use the um, uh, church service uh, time to make an announcement, to recruit volunteers, uh, to let the membership that is a uh, donation opportunity purchase, purchase an app, you know, and the proceeds is going to be used for the printing costs of the church yearbook. Exactly. Yeah. And that's also a good way to find those people that really want to do it. And will find joy and passion in being able to create that. Exactly. Um, you mentioned about local business. Think about, you know, because the church, you know, is to help build a community beyond the church building, right? So think about, you know, if there are uh, businesses around the church building and they are also, you know, help, you know, to to fund the printing costs, you know, that way the, the member of the church, you know, also know, oh, wow, there are businesses in our local community that are also supporting our project. Yeah, exactly. It's it's just like a triple whammy. You get so much in one one go with exactly. the yearbook. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, actually similar to uh, some high school yearbook, you know, they actually sell ads to local businesses who help support the printing cost of a school yearbook. So I've seen some school do that and they've been able to, you know, get additional funding, you know, to pay for the, the yearbook, you know, with upgrade and other uh, expenses. Yeah, and there are unique ways to do ads too, you know, maybe have a few members of the congregation drinking some coffee from the local coffee shop and, you know, that will be your ad or, you know, maybe it's like a car dealership or something like that, and, you know, exactly. some other members, maybe the pastor will be there with car keys or something. Yes, exactly. So, yeah. Or, you know, some business, you know, who have been good to the congregation, you know, all the members, they have do donate uh, some service, you know, it would be a good opportunity, you know, for those businesses to be part of the, the church uh, yearbook and directory. Yeah, a good way to honor them. and you know, Exactly. Be yeah. Mm -hmm. So I know we already kind of went over some of those unique benefits, um, but are there any other kind of like unique benefits that a congregation would get from publishing a yearbook? I would say uh, it's a great uh, publication, you know, for visitors who may be looking for a church or who may be just visiting the area and, you know, they decided one day, you know, I'm going to check out this congregation. Um, having a church directory and yearbook is a great uh, way, you know, for a visitor to really know about the history of the church, the congregation, and also about the leadership, the culture, and what is this congregation all about? Uh, I, I think it's just a great, great um, way, you know, for them to really understand what uh, what this church uh, does. Beside, you know, having a uh, service, you know, every every week, uh, what other services or outreach they provide within the community, and also perhaps, you know, overseas. Um, you know, certainly, you know, um, a visitor will throw away a yearbook, a church uh, publication, right? Uh, they want to keep, you know, get to know, and they may also pass it on to other uh, people. So I, I think it, it is a great piece, you know, for also visitors, visitors, and also uh, for members to create a sense of belonging, you know, for the members and church, and also about among the members uh, themselves. So um, it's a it's a project, you know, uh, that will bring people together, whether they're new or they've been. Um, going to the same congregation for a long time. Um, so I think it, it, it's just a quick way to connect people together. Yeah, I loved how you said that sense of belonging in that community. Um, it also makes me think of how like, you know, maybe some students will be looking at, you know, the yearbook and they'll kind of feel like, at peace or at ease when they see like oh those are the types of activities that like you know the youth group does or kind of seeing maybe um you know this is the certain type of you know leadership 
um, that they have at this congregation. And maybe someone will feel more drawn to be part of, you know, an official member because, you know, they like what they see and they kind of see themselves within the community, you know. So it's it's also really good way, I think, to kind of, you already mentioned the culture, but like that personality, because, you know, every, every congregation has like a different culture, a different personality, and you get to really showcase that, you know, with like the theming of things, um, just, you know, the way that you create those page spreads and showcase all of those memories, you're really able to tell the story, you know, of that congregation. So I think that's a great point to say, you know, those those newer members or even like you said the older members that have been there will feel that sense of of belonging and really cherish that those memories that they have within you know their yearbook slash directory so i think that that's such a positive and i know that um you know i think it would be so special because we always talk about yearbooks being a time capsule so to be able to maybe have one now and then 10 years later you're you're opening it up back up and you're saying oh i remember when we did this you know together and and showing that to you know children grandchildren whoever may be you know this is you when you were this age and look at you in in this class or you know the doing this activity. And so I think it's so special. Um, and I think that's very unique. So yeah, I appreciate you, you going over that cultural aspect, because that is really important. Yeah, another benefit I just, uh, you know, thought of is, um, when you said, you know, to tell the stories, you know, uh, church Yebo would be a great way to feature some faith uh, stories, you know, like, how certain members they receive healing and how they receive financial blessing or provision from other members or or through the congregation uh it, it's a great way you know to really um uh for the members to express you know themselves you know to tell their own stories um and tell the world about what this congregation means to them um just imagine you know that if a church uh, has a church yearbook or directory every year. Um, a lot of members, you know, they may be in there for 20, 30 years. Uh, a yearbook, a church yearbook, you know, would, would create a time capsule, you know, for those members who've been there for a long time and also help pay forward, you know, to those uh, who will come, you know, after them. I've been at my own church for the same church for 30 years, you know, just imagine if we have a church yearbook that I'll be able to go back, you know, all these years, you know, um the changes of the church all the miracle story you know all the uh, members who have been faithfully uh serving the church and all the outreach um the church you know have done locally and also overseas uh, isn't it amazing you know to have a publication that document is almost like a historical piece that tells the story you know of the congregation from where they were many years ago to where they are at yeah that is such a good point because you know most people that go to a church are not going to have the podium you know they're probably never going to have a chance to share their story in such a to such a large amount of people you know and so yeah obviously you can get to know someone and kind of hear their story and and learn about them but to have that kind of at your disposal where you can read through and, and get to know such a large quantity of people and hear their stories and, you know, their faith stories, or maybe it's just about, you know, what the church has done for them or certain ministries or whatever it may be. I think that's so unique because like I said, you really don't get to hear from that many people or learn that many stories and stories are very impactful you know they they have the chance to change people's lives so being able to have that right there um and and go through it and and you know even take some time to just mark through it and read it is really special exactly um, yes yeah um so I know earlier we kind of talked about um, how special it is, you know, and, and having that. And I was talking about how, you know, 10 years from now, you can look back at it um, and, and look through all the different activities and all of the stories and memories and everything. Um, would you say that it is necessary for a congregation to be um, publishing a, a new yearbook slash directory every year? Would you say that's kind of something that's only for special occasions, like an anniversary? I would say uh, most of the churches, they do it only uh, when there is a big celebration, like when the church reach a certain number of years, like five years, 10 years, 25 years. Um, so, but as I said earlier, there are a lot of benefits to have a, a church uh, yearbook, 
um, slash directory. So I personally, uh, if I am a church, um, part of a church and I have a say, you know, about the publication, I will highly recommend to have it uh, done uh, every year because of the benefits, you know, that I share earlier. Uh, but most of the church, I think, um, you know, you, you, it also requires time, right, and money. So maybe they can do it every other years. Um, that way, you know, they can spread, you know, uh, between uh, two years, you know, to get a committee together, you know, they, they will have more time uh, to cover more stories within a two year time frame. Uh, but one year is probably what I recommend, you know, if the church is congregation had enough volunteers to help uh, support the work and also raising the fund um, to uh, towards the printing cost. Um, but I think if one year is not necessary, you know, then, you know, stick to what the church is able to do. I probably would recommend print extra copies that will uh, have some content that can last uh, longer. For example, you know, perhaps we serve one session to talk about the history of the church. That way, those uh, pages will always, you know, um, uh, can be used, you know, no matter how many years, you know, because those, the, those pages, you know, document part of the history of the congregations. So maybe, you know, some of the church church members, they uh, come and go, right? You know, so, but if it's like um, a by like every year um, publication, you know, you know, most, you know, of the members to still, you know, be be around, you know, especially if the publication have an index page that have the information of the members, who they are, perhaps if they feel comfortable, you know, if the church take a vote, you know, to allow them to put the contact phone number of the of the members and an index page will be a great place, you know, for the members directory and also for them to have a, a source, you know, to be able to connect with other members. That's awesome. Yeah, within those index pages, I know we've talked about before, but um, using that as a tool, really. So, you know, um, maybe someone that's, you know, younger, maybe they're still a teenager, they have their contact information there and they're like, you know, willing to babysit. And so for, uh, um, you know, a younger couple who want to go out on a date night and they have their kids, they can look at the index form and say, oh, this this um, person, you know, she's in the youth group, she's available to babysit, maybe we can contact her or, you know, someone else who has, you know, maybe doctors or part of the congregation, you kind of have um, the ability to, to use um the resources because as we know you know um that is part of the community right is having that those connections and and learning you know using your abilities and your talents to kind of impact the community at large so um, i think that that would be a really special place to be able to do that and obviously that's up to you know whether they will you know the congregation would like to do that and, and have that as a feature or not but it's it's a really powerful way of connecting others um and and allowing others to um to kind of utilize each other's talents and and abilities um to, to help each other out you know that's what we're supposed to do right Exactly. Yeah. So the index page, you know, um, you know, it is a great place, you know, not only for the members content information, you know, but also for small group, you know, these uh, churches uh, utilize uh, small groups or fellowship group, you know, so that uh, different uh, members can attend uh, a group that fit the need. For example, for married couple, uh, for singles, uh, for women, um, for men, you know, for the youth. So if there are uh, different uh, small groups, you know, for the church members based on the need, you know, to attend, you know, uh, in that page is also a great way um, uh, to let the uh, members and also visitor know, oh, there are uh, additional activities, you know, amount you know, within the church and the congregation that they can attend. Yeah, that's that's a good way of of, of highlighting those unique features and 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 clubs or groups like you said that, that that a church has to offer so yeah I, I i love that being able to connect in those ways um so i think that leads me to kind of my final question for you today what final piece of advice would you give someone who may be interested in they're part of a congregation and they're they seem like they're interested in starting up a yearbook or directory well well, they can come and talk to us, you know, uh, schedule a, um, 
an appointment and we'll walk them through uh, the steps. You know, it's, it's fairly, fairly easy. Uh, even if they just, you know, want the um, uh, information, you know, they, they can contact us to so that we can walk them through uh, the step. Or on our United Yearbook website, you know, we have a uh, process page to show them, you know, from start to finish. Um, just, you know, I would say the first step is to um, get the church leader and also another member, you know, that who also have similar idea. Uh, because if it is only your idea, you know, you may get resistance, you know, from the church uh, leadership, you know, that you may not be able to, you know, to produce a propagation on your own. So you want to have the support from the church leader and also from other members of the church who are thinking of, you know, doing your church yearbook. Yeah, that's that's really good. And I know that um, especially because, you know, typically you think your books, you think schools, but um, because it is such a useful time capsule and memory keeper and something that would be useful within any congregation, um, it may seem a little bit more daunting because it's not the, you know, you may not have the background that, you know, a yearbook advisor at a school may have or anything like that. But um, yeah, like Sarah said, to just, you know, contact us. Um, you know, we're happy to help walk alongside you to kind of listen to your ideas and your needs and, and see how we can help you out and hopefully create something that, um, you know, have your vision come to life and, and have um, something that will be within your congregation for many years to come. Exactly. I think, you know, a lot of people, they feel intimidated, you know, they're saying, oh, I don't have the design skill. I don't have you know, experience in producing a publication. But nowadays, there are actually uh, free software, you know, out there that can walk you through, you know, how to put together a beautiful publication. For example, Canva, uh, even with Word document, you know, we have put together a church yearbook, you know, just using, uh, you know, the raw files, the congregation member provide to us because they do not have the design skill or using Adobe product like InDesign or Photoshop, but they just start with, you know, what you feel comfortable. You may feel com comfortable just creating your pages using Word. Yes, we can help you convert the pages from Word to a print ready uh, file uh, for printing. Uh, uh, perhaps you want to be uh, working with uh, clip art or template, you know, or you can consider using Canva because Canva also have um, layout template for yearbook publication that you can use uh, to download low resolution ver version or share the entire book that has all the pages that you create. So you can just use one location Canva to create the entire church yearbook without having to uh, go to other uh, program um, and you can also share your design file within Canva with other church member or even share the link uh, with the priest with the pa uh, pastor so that they can reveal your pages you know for approval um, or proofreader to reveal uh, the editorial make sure that you know um, the spelling error is you know is none or, or minimize you know any uh, mistake you know that may be caught during the proof reading process so it's actually the process very easy you know there's a lot of resource uh give us a call and we'll be more than happy to give you a, a free consultation to show you you know how to make it happen and make it work Yes, exactly. You are more capable than you may think at this point. You, If this is a desire and this is something that has improved, you can 100% do it. So we believe in you. Um, any final thoughts, Sarah, that you want to share with anyone watching? Uh, yeah, I'm just excited. You know, so when you have an idea, why not? Just, just start today. Yes. Okay. Well, thank you so much, everyone. If you have any comments or questions, you can leave them down below. You can check out our website at unitedyearbook.net. Um, we're happy to connect with you, answer any of those questions that you may have. And like Sarah said, you can give us a call. We are happy to, you know, hop on a call, hop on a consultation with you and just be there for you and, and hear what your ideas are so we can bring them to life. So thank you. Bye, everyone. Bye.